Hey guys, it's Sammy. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about my Cramathon TBR. If you don't know what Cramathon is, it is this week-long readathon where you try to cram in as many books as possible. It's hosted by Dylan the Reader, Jay from the Awkward Bookworm, Hardback Quarter, and Julia Sapphire. I think that's correct. And it's going to be running from June 10th to the 17th. And I believe it's like the whole your time zone is start whenever. A little like preview news, I am going camping. Though that during that weekend and like from Thursday to Sunday of a lot, um, I'm going to bring some of these books and if I finish them early, I'll probably switch up my TBR, but I wanted to make sure I film this. Also, I do plan on doing a vlog for this. Shout out to Books and Lala. She's like absolutely like slays the whole readathon vlog thing. I don't know if mine will be as interesting as hers, but we're gonna give it a try. We're gonna try it out for that week and hopefully it goes well. Crossing fingers. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into my DVR. So this really is a cramathon. They want you to read a total of seven books, which is like, I'm not going to lie to you guys and say I'm going to read seven books. We're not lying to each other this year. That's not going, that's very unlikely to happen. My real goal is to read like three. Like that would be amazing. Like I would be super happy with that. But the goal of the readathon is to read seven. So there is six challenges and then I guess you just pick I mean, the goal is to read seven, but there's only like six challenges. So let's just get into the challenges. The first challenge is a five-star predicted book. I know you're gonna see this. I'm gonna be like, Sammy, why would you read this book during a readathon? I'm also probably gonna, this is one of the books that I'll probably start during my vacation. And this is the one that's most likely, hopefully I will finish during my vacation. So I won't have to worry about it during this week. Basically, I'm starting this readathon early. Don't shame me, it's fine. Um, and that is Harry Potter and the Order of the Fiend, er, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This book's really big. It's it's 650 pages. Wow, 734. Yeah, it's kind of big. This is the next Harry Potter book. This is the fourth Harry Potter book. I'm really excited to read it. Like, I'm super hyped. But it's super long. And I don't know why I'm reading it for a readathon. But I know I'm only going to want to read this. So until I read this, I'm just going to be wanting to read this, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to try to finish this during my camping trip, but we'll see. But yeah, this is the first book for a predicted five star book. I know there's gonna be five stars. There's very little ways in which it wouldn't be five stars. The next is a book that's out of your comfort zone. I struggled with this. Like I really struggled with this. I was like, book that's out of my comfort zone. I don't really have like a comfort zone. I mean like the books I've been reading lately have kind of been all over the place. Like I don't really read just contemporary anymore or just fantasy, like I'm kind of all over the place. So for an out of my comfort zone book, I kind of just picked the book that I thought was going to make me uncomfortable, if that makes any sense. So I went with Allegedly by Tiffany D. Jackson. This tells the story of a young black girl who is sent to not prison, but like a prison for young children after she is accused of killing a young girl while her mother was babysitting this young white girl. And this follows her after she gets out and she starts like going back into normal life. Uh, I think it's going to be very uncomfortable. It'll probably make me very uncomfortable. So that's kind of why I picked it for this topic. Um, this is also not a short book. Oh, it's not horrible, but I'm really excited to read it. And I have been for a while. So hopefully I can get this in. I think this is one of the ones that's closer to the top of my TBR. I don't, this is one of the books I said I was going to read this year. So I would like to get to that soon. So that's what I'm going to include for that challenge. Next is a book that's been on your TBR for a long time. <laughs> This literally this whole shelf. But for this one, I'm going with That Summer by Sarah Dessen. I have literally like all of Sarah Dessen's books. I mean, other than the ones that have come out in like recent years. I'm like, I'm not buying those books until I've read some of Sarah Dessen's books. So this is her very first novel. I'm going to try to read them in like publication order. Um, just because I feel like if I read some of her better ones first, I'm not going to read some of her old writing. So I'm going to give this one a try first because I heard this is... <laughs> This sounds bad, but like this is her worst one. And, but it's really short. And as long as the story is kind of fun, I think I'll enjoy it, but we'll see. Summer Contemporary, really short. I'm hoping I can get to this at least. I'm really excited for it, that's for sure. And I really want to get into Sarah Dessen's books. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. And this has been on my TBR for literally probably every bit of two or three years. So yeah. The next is read a LGBTQ plus book that is own voices, I believe. Yes, own voices. So for that, I am going with We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. I'm sure if Dylan's any way watching this, he'll be really excited about this. If I'm not mistaken, 
I know the main plot of the story. Well, I don't actually know. I know the, like, the whole big thing about the story is that aliens, <laughs> but I'm also almost certain that the main character of this is gay and Sean David Hutchison is gay, so on voices, I'm pretty sure. God, I feel really freaking stupid but and I'm really excited to read this it has some like I've seen so many amazing quotes from it and it gets a lot of hype I'm really excited it sounds really interesting it's like um contemporary story with a twist of like weird shit basically like that's literally what I get from Sean David Hutchinson's writing is that his stories are basically contemporary but with like this weird twist so I'm really excited to read this um yeah that's really all I have to say. The next is read something that is not a standard novel. Thank God for this challenge because I don't know when else I would have the motivation to read this book. That is A Court of Frost and Starlight. I started reading this. You can't even tell. I am so don't care. Like I really don't care but here I am. I'm going to read it. It's super short. It really shouldn't take long but it's pretty boring and I don't know what the plot's gonna be and I don't think there is one. I think it's just like Reese Sand and Farah fluff, which is fine, but like I don't really care at this point. And I, I mean, I'm excited for their story to go like full circle wrap up, but I really just don't care a lot. So I'm hoping I will fin- I should be able to finish this, but we'll see if I have the motivation because honestly, like, I don't currently, I really don't. The next challenge is read a book with your favorite color on the cover. Um, my favorite color is purple, so I decided I would finish Starry Eyes. I think if you just followed me on Goodreads, you would have seen that I started listening to this on audiobook, and I really didn't like the audiobook. Um, like, I really didn't like the audiobook. And I didn't hate the story, but the audiobook was just, like, not vibing with me. So, I now have a physical copy, and I want to give it another try. Um, so I guess technically I have started this book. And it's pretty fresh in my mind, so like I can just start where I left off. I think I was a good like 150 of pages in. Yeah, I should be able to finish this as well. It's, I think, I'm thinking that Sri Lanka won't be a complete disaster, but you never know. So yeah, this book is basically about these people that go camping and then these two people on the cover here get lost in the woods and they have to spend time to each other even though they used to have a, they have a past, but now they hate each other. So I'm pretty excited about it. I've liked what I read so far, I just could not stand the audiobook, so hoping for the best. And the last challenge is just to read seven books. So I didn't really have another book that I was like new off the top of my head that I really wanted to read. Maybe that will change, but I never really talk about my Kindle, but I do have a Kindle. I do like to read books on here, but I have so many physical books that I don't often find myself reading for my Kindle. I have a, also a really big problem of going on NetGalley and being like, ooh, this sounds interesting, this sounds interesting, request, request, request. So I don't know why they keep sending me books because my review rating on that is literally like 30%. I don't know why they do that. But I have a lot of ARCs on here, E-ARCs. If any of you are still around, <laughs> I'm going to read off some of these E-ARCs that I have and you can tell me if I should read them, like if any of these sound interesting. Maybe I'll, I'll put the names on here so in case you don't understand what I'm saying. So I have Furyborn by Claire Legrand, Fat Girl on a Plane, pretty Pretty Boy Must Die by Kimberly Reed, American Panda by Gloria Chow. I'm leaning towards that because I've heard a lot of hype about that and it takes place in college. Uh, this Adventure Ends by Emma Mills, Busted, You Before Anyone Else, Because I Love You by Tori Rigby, Love and Rewind by Tally Alexander, The Hundred Lies of Lizzie Lovett, Glitter by April and Pike, The Graces, is that it? That's it. So here's the list. If you've heard of any of these, if you've read any of these, some of them are from 2016, so maybe you've read some of them. Let me know, and I think I'll probably read one of those just because at night, and it'll just be easy to, like, pick up one of these books, if that makes sense. Like, I love my Kindle for that. It's really easy to just, like, pick it up and read a book. So, yeah, that will be my seventh book. I'm not really sure what it will be, but you guys can help me out if you do wish to. So, that would make a total of seven books. And hopefully it will go over well. Uh, we're just gonna hope for the best. I have high hopes for this, as I always do, but I'm not going to get, I'm not gonna be upset with myself because I don't expect myself to read all of these books. Like I said, three would be amazing. And some of these I've already started and some I might even finish before the readathon even starts. There you go. That's basically what I plan on doing. There's just gonna be a motivation to 
to read and I can make a vlog for you guys and hopefully it'll be a good old time. I hope you guys enjoyed this. L definitely let me know down below if you guys are participating and let me know some of the books you're reading for the different challenges because I still do have time to like change up some books if I do wish to. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye! We are